as Lieutenant Colonel Latino Perez, uh, Episode 7 of Arguing the Operational Environment. And what I want to briefly do here is introduce a video, a 20-minute video that I'm going to show next. Uh, and what, what it's going to argue is that, that there's a tension in both our joint and army doctrine. And that tension uh, addresses how it is that we are to understand the operational environment, the stakeholders, all the lethal, political, governmental, economic, uh, cultural, religious, identity-based, and ethical uh, factors in the environment. The way our doctrine uh, uh, tells us to do this in some parts of the two manuals for joining an army is, uh, is the following. We are supposed to take uh, the Pemesi PT framework. Pemesi PT if it's army, and just Pemesi by itself if we're talking joint. And we're supposed to get input about what's going on in the operational environment, and then use these factors to filter the information we hear or we read into these different categories. So let's say we're getting an account of why there is violence in Syria. Well, what happens is if we use this PMSI PT framework as a filter, the way part of our doctrine tells us to do, what we end up doing is something I think that is very inefficient, is that we end up taking that story and trying to break open uh, those political pieces and categorizing them into this specific silo or spoke pipe. And then we take the military factors and we just go on down the line, the economic, the social, etc. When actual military professionals and unified action partners start to do this, what you find is that there are disagreements. Well, is this political? Or is it social? Or is it economic? And I think that these debates uh, really don't get us too far, and they, they end up uh, wasting a lot of our time. But you see this recommendation in both uh, Army doctrine, especially, but also Joint doctrine. And then in our classrooms here at the United States uh, Army uh, Command General Staff College, one of the ways that many uh, uh, students go about trying to understand the environment is by using this framework and breaking apart a story of what's going on in the environment into these uh, different factors. However, there's a tension because doctrine, both at the joint and army level, also tell us to focus on what we've called the system's perspective. Uh, that is, when we're focusing on stakeholders or actors in the environment, and we're trying to identify what the relations are uh, between them. And these are two fundamentally different ways of trying to understand the environment. One, we're taking a story about what's going on and breaking it apart. And the other one, we're reading or we're listening to the account of what's going on, say, in Syria, and we're simply trying to depict the relationships. This one gets you towards an understanding of uh, the operational environment much faster. I argue, and in the next 20-minute uh, video that I show, uh, you'll be able to see this play out in a sort of experiment I did with uh, uh, my uh, local dynamics of war seminar uh, from uh, 1202 uh, class. Thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed the video.